Welcome back, everybody. I'm Doc Mono. You're watching Doc News. Uh, let's cut right into it. We got a lot to get into today. All right. So for today's video, we have another submission. It's from the uh, popular YouTube channel called Cut. Links below. And it's porn stars and their partners play truth or drink. Uh, I guess they talk about what their relationships are like and how it is to date a porn star. I'm not really sure. But uh, anyways, let, let's check it out. Let's see what this is about. This, this looks interesting. What do you do with me that you won't do in a scene? Oh, you by me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't do that with anyone else. <laughs> I eat <laughs> all of Whoa! <laughs> all you got brutally <laughs> honest here. There you go, chat. Life material. Take notes, Gaspone. Who are you two and how do you know each other? I am Kelly. I'm Robbie Apples. Uh, my name is Kate. Nathan Bronson. Uh, my name is Braylon Bailey. Apollo Banks. What does your husband do for a living? He's a porn star. Is it safe to say you're both porn stars? <laughs> yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's very porn safe, star couple, yeah. is that rare? A healthy yeah. porn star couple is rare. That's what I'd say. Who's the porn star? It's me. I what? know it doesn't look like it. She looks like the porn star. <laughs> I was about to say. Do people think that? <laughs> well, I failed that bet. <laughs> That's what I'd say. Who's the porn star? It's me. I know it doesn't look like it. She looks like the porn star. <laughs> do people think that? Yes. Because yeah. I'm I, I big did. fake tits. Ah. I'm blonde hair. And else Who wants to now. start? Ladies first. Okay. Oh, gentlemen. What did you think when you first found out I was in porn? You asked me before we were dating. She was just yeah. asking me as a friend if she should join. I, I didn't. I was like, okay, sure. I don't know. It would be cool to know a porn star, so do it. Very supportive. You found friend. some some of it, of my porn. That was how you first found me, right? Yeah. So the first time you saw him, he was sleeping with someone else. Yes. <laughs> this looks like the dude from the first one, only with like different hair. Are you guys seeing this? Like, it's the eyes, the face and stuff. Like, yeah, he looks so similar to that guy. I saw him. He was sleeping with someone else. Yes. <laughs> and you're like, this is the one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I found out you did porn, I'm like, yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Why did it make a lot of sense? Because he's gorgeous. Have you seen the rest of the porn performers? Gorgeous and male performer doesn't really have anything to do with each other. Why is that? Why? Because yeah. it don't matter if you're pretty, it just matter if you can keep your dick hard. Who fell in I have noticed that. It's a weird thing to notice, but I've noticed like a lot of like time you watch porn. Like the male porn star is just, it's, he's not a great looking dude. He's just an average looking dude usually. A lot of times their dicks like aren't even like massive. It's just like a normal sized dick, sometimes like a little bit bigger. Like I don't. I'm like, how are you a porn star? I guess that makes sense. He's just able to keep it hard in front of a room full of people. I, 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 yeah, that is so weird. I, I would figure you'd need to be like attractive for porn. At least with females, it seems that way. But with men, I, I don't know. I guess it's just different. Camera does magic nowadays. I don't, they don't do magic. It's just a dude. A very normal looking dude. Usually. Weird. In love with who first? I think I mean, it was at the same time. Yeah. I feel like you. You were such a hoe before me, and then the first. I mean, we're still really kind of hoes, but, but different. But different. <laughs> I remember when you drunkenly told me that you love me. Yeah. It slipped out, and I was like, what did you just say? And you're like, nothing. <laughs> you're like, I didn't say anything. I'm like, did you just tell me you love me? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's the hardest well, part of your job? being tired or I definitely got better at my boundaries and what I will and won't shoot yeah, yeah. before I was like oh yes 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 sure whatever mm -hmm. but now I'm like mm -hmm. it's emotionally mentally not cool to do things that you don't want to do I uh -huh. guess yeah no it's a lot more physically taxing a lot more mo mentally taxing than I was ever prepared for I can never be a hundred percent whether my dick is going to work or not it doesn't matter if you have, you have no idea no idea because you don't always want to fuck these people. <laughs> I don't care how much you think every girl that you want to fuck in this industry, you want to fuck them. Guess what? There's been a time I did not want to. <laughs> I think the hardest part. That's a legit thing. Like sometimes you could like be with a perfect 10 and you're just like, eh, I'm just not, I'm not feeling it right now. 
of my job is just having to perform with someone who is closed off. Mm -hmm. It just feels like you're having sex with someone who doesn't completely want to have sex, but they want to make money. And it's like an icky money feeling. Is good. Like I'm like, why are you doing this? What do your friends and family think of our relationship? Honestly, they weren't too supportive to begin with. What? I think a lot of people just kind of project their own insecurity onto it and they were like, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't do that and that's not a sustainable dynamic. Um, oh, they're all, they're she's all cool not right a porn star wrong. My friends think you're fucking dope. My friends think you're super cool. My family, they love you too. Yeah, and your mom knows what we do and yeah, she's super Yeah, my mom's supportive. like about it. She's, she's awesome. like, make sure you guys make your money, yeah. have people pay you the correct times, the correct amounts, be on top of that. What do your friends and family think of our relationship? No, I want to drink. They don't accept him. Some people do know, some others. Is your family religious? Yes. Um, parents love me now. Yeah, my parents do love you. They don't know that you do porn though. They don't know what he does. I think so far they just think he's just a full-time stuntman. But my dad was like, he gets a lot of work for a stuntman. He's like, Kate, does he do anything else? <laughs> I was like, oh no, he knows. <laughs> How does your family does feel about your job? Stunts. You know, I think my mom <clears> saw <throat> it coming. I mean, when I told her that I was a stripper, like long before I got in porn, she was like, I knew something like this was gonna happen. My sister. I'm, I'm sorry, can we backtrack a little bit? He's a stripper? He looks like an average dude. I don't. Get it. Oh, whatever. My sister definitely knows. Most of my family knows. Do you, I've think, had, your, do you think your dad knows? I think so. Like, my dad's called me on a handful of occasions. He's like, hey, where are you getting this kind of money from? I'm like, do you really want to know? <laughs> my dad's a pastor. <laughs> like, he really wants to know about this stuff. And I give him the option to ask. Why is it always the religious people? The girl in the previous video is a Mormon. He's like, well, my dad's a pastor. Like, I'm starting to see some sort of correlation here. That is fascinating, chat. All right, let's keep going. Ask or not, so. Is a little bit of it kind of go like, fuck you, mommy? No, no, uh, the whole reason I got into this, it's not. <laughs> How many people have you slept with? I was waiting for this question. Maybe a hundred around there. I, on the other hand. Because your personal life before. <laughs> Surprisingly, that's Before not I got into porn, I remember that roughly was around a hundred. I've done, but I've been in seven years and I've been working with a different girl almost every day. So the number- So seven is, different girls a week, maybe, well, maybe 14 if you're doing I mean, like I did that seven girl reverse gangbang like <laughs> the other day. I, I know it's probably 400, 500. You're banging seven different people in a single session. Like I can't, I wouldn't even enjoy that. That would be like endurance. That would be a challenge. Granted, I'd feel like I would God at the end of that, but oh my goodness, that would not be enjoyable at all. 500, somewhere around there. How many people have you slept with? Like 15, and I thought that was a lot. <laughs> oh, how many people are you that's actually? A whopping 25. I thought it was 16. <laughs> what? Oh my I'm, God. I'm liking these numbers. These are what very What part of my modest. job intimidates you? Ooh. Um. The whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna take a shot. You are? Yeah. Okay. Why is that a hard one to answer? It's not a hard one to answer, just there's always gonna be a little bit of jealousy. I'd say I'm more comfortable with it now, but okay. I think it'll always be there for both of us. What part of my job intimidates you? The fact that you're able to f almost anybody. Like, if I'm gonna have sex with someone, I really need to know this person. I really didn't need to yeah, be attracted to them, way. but he's just able to, yeah, whatever. That's that's just. F what was her name again? Oh yeah. Ah, <laughs> I know. Dude, I I am. Me and this girl are on the same wavelength. I, I you I, I don't know. Personally, and granted, I am very drunk, and New Year's is literally eight minutes away. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of weird to just. Do that with anybody, right? It's supposed to be special, you know? A gift isn't special if everyone gets it, you know? You know why Lamborghinis are nice? Because not everyone can f***ing have one. It's exclusive. But maybe I'm just weird, huh? Oh, their names? 
Does your job affect your uh, sex life? There are some times where I cannot be uh, like. Most you have to save your precious seed. Sometimes because like he doesn't want to come because he has to keep his cum shot good for the next day or I'm super sore and he has a big dick so it's like if I have sex too many times with him then I'll be sore for my scene. Sex is great but yeah. after a certain point you need breaks because it gets a little tiring. Do we have boundaries when it comes to my work? Yes, change your bed sheets. Yeah, bed sheets. Please. Uh, I live in a place with one bed, and we usually shoot content on that too. And I'm like, wait, mm. has a girl slept in here? You're yeah. like, yeah, I'm like, change your sheets. <laughs> There's certain people that I don't necessarily want you to work with because I know how they are with women. I don't like that. Yeah. I don't want them to And you don't want me to shoot with anyone that has a giant, giant, giant dick. Yeah, no. It's just... Is it? Because like, it doesn't feel good, it hurts. So I'm wondering, like, do guys think that because a guy's a bigger dick, they're like, Maybe better than them or something? Maybe it's an ego thing as a guy. I, I, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, what do you do with me that you won't do in a scene? The thing I do with you that I don't do with anyone else is just have those intimate moments of closeness, which is more beautiful than what I actually get to have uh, in a porn scene. I mean, when we have sex, like I'm like I'm like giving you all like every ounce of my love, you know, and I don't do that in my scenes. What do you do with me that you won't do in a scene? Oh, you cream pie me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't do that with anyone else. I, I, I come in you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I eat your ass. I'll let Whoa! <laughs> I'll got brutally <laughs> honest here. Have I mean, you ever thought about leaving stars, me? You know, we kind of figured... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't even yeah. know what you're worried about saying. It's pretty benign, <laughs> fine. I was, I was a little panicked early on, wondering if this was something I could do. Have you ever thought about leaving me? <laughs> Yeah. All yeah. the time. I feel like we both, yeah, I feel like, I'm gonna take a shot. Honestly, I think we both had the what conversation. What couples don't get in arguments? Yeah. Never, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be the same guy. Do you think about me when you're having sex with other people? <laughs> Sometimes, yes. There's been definitely a handful of times when Does I'm in a scene and I'm just like this. Hmm. <laughs> Let's think about her eating my ass the same way. There we go. That's the <laughs> like, if it's a really horrible scene. Like, I'm just like, fuck, there's no way. Like, this is taking too long. You think of me? Sometimes I will, My yeah. Heart. Wow. <laughs> I have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, maybe I wasn't feeling the energy in the scene, and I was like, <laughs> okay, just pretend. Okay, I'm having sex with Kelly. Yes. <laughs> Sunshine and rainbows. What about that time I was on set with you, and I was actually there watching? Oh, yeah, it was super hot. Yeah? Super hot, yeah. Okay. There was one time she actually came to set, and she watched two of her scenes. So she was trying to... Um, or normalize it. Normalize what I do. It was good. Like knowing she was there watching, you'd be able to look over her once in a while. She'd be like, oh, oh, oh. He kept glancing over at me every oh. now and then. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> If I wanted you to, would you leave the industry for me? I would never leave the industry altogether. I would definitely start doing more OnlyFans. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. about But it would to have say. to be equal. That's what it would have to be. It would have to as both be doing OnlyFans. Okay. So I wouldn't just me leave and you still be in the industry. Okay. Never. That's fair. Yeah. Would you leave the industry for me? Um, would I quit for you in the long run? If we, yeah. You would? Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm, wow. That's like huge. She huh. likes that. I hate these people anyway. <laughs> I don't know. If it was like a transition <clears throat> and I was on board with it, sure. She's this about was never it now. my goal job in the first place. I like doing it because I'm they good at it. Planted that you know? seed in her head. Have this life together. It's a Future huge argument. Yeah. Oh, sweetheart. Yeah. That's a big deal. Fuck, fuck. Oh, thanks for the titty poke. <laughs> Why do you think we stayed together? I think we're incredibly compatible. I think we build each other up and we want the best out of each other. I think we both create a safe space. Uh, for each other to oh, yeah. express our feelings and our emotions and ideas. Well, of course, because we love each other, but we're honest. I'm very forgiving, and... Because you're very forgiving. Fuck Jesus. yeah. That's why we stay together? I feel fuck like because I think about it and I'm like, is it really worth destroying a relationship over something so small? Yeah, fair. Like, it's more what you can go through and heal from and bond. Mm -hmm. Why do you think we stay together? I think we stay together because uh, when it comes down to it, I'm something that you've needed yeah. through the times. All your relationships never gave you the freedom or the love that I would. And I want you to feel like the woman who can do 
anything because you haven't had that in your relationships and I want to make sure that you feel that in ours. Oh wow, this is wholesome. I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> All right. All right, well, uh, that, that actually was surprisingly wholesome. I like that. Uh, that's nice that they, uh, I don't know, they're able to maintain apparently healthy relationships, you know, in a uh, somewhat controversial uh, career path. I, I don't know what you would call it. I don't know. Yeah, it was wholesome. It was wholesome. I don't know what else to say. I'm drunk. If I post this on YouTube and I seem like I'm not very eloquent, you gotta understand, I'm like freaking six drinks in. It is New Year's Eve. I apologize. I'm doing the best I can, but I am drunk, so. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video, everyone. If you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe below. It helps me out a lot. If you didn't like the video, Like and subscribe anyways and leave a comment telling me why you fucking hated it. Now that I'm finally settled into my new house, I'm gonna try to upload once or twice a week. We'll see how it goes. If you wanna join us live, just click the link below and you can join us at my Twitch channel where I stream every Sunday starting around 5 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time and going until whenever I get through all the videos. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today, everybody. Hope you have an amazing week. I'll see you at the next video. Peace out, everyone. Bye!